What's going on everybody, Respawn Gentleman here. So today I'm going to show you how you can get a guaranteed volatile hive spawn. Let's get right to it. So where you want to be is in the downtown area, specifically at the metro station, because we're going to be utilizing the quarantine building that's right next to it. Now you will get a volatile hive roughly about every five minutes, occasionally a tire will spawn, but for the most part uh, that doesn't spawn super often, but this will definitely give you a hive for sure. So all you need to do is have it be nighttime and then just kind of do what I'm doing. Um, you can kind of get out of here a little faster. I wouldn't recommend doing it because it kind of takes up some of the time you need for it to spawn. So it usually takes about th anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute for the hive to spawn for the first time. We're gonna get to these stairs and as soon as we get to these stairs, then we'll run and then we'll just climb up to the top of the building. So it's super important that we do this every time. I mean, you can see the hive already spawned. It's already there. Now we just got to get to the top. I like to climb this way just because of the time it takes. It makes it easier for things to spawn. And it doesn't take that long to do. So we're just climb up here. And then here's the last bit. Now I would highly recommend, you know, you can do these however you want. If you've got the saw blades, you know, to take care of the volatiles, that's fine too. Um, I personally like to use toughness boosters and muscle boosters, but how you do it is completely up to you. Once you're in here, just kind of follow the path that I'm taking because um, there's no virals, so you don't have to worry about them. You can just run straight through all of the uh, little areas and then we'll get to the final area pretty quickly here. We'll just make my way around here, go in here, jump over this table, go around this little door. And then once we go through this door, there'll be an elevator shaft that we can just drop down and then just go immediately into the one below it. And there we go. So we're on the second level. Now, one more door to go through. This one gets me turned around sometimes. But all we gotta do when it opens is just kind of go around that little table and then follow the cable all the way through out here. And then just drop down. And here we go. Now we're in the final area. We'll open it up. And then what I like to do is when I open it up, go ahead and get my toughness booster going. You do have to open this door like this every time. It's just the way it is. So do this. And then now we can go down here. There's going to be three volatiles and the hive. So let's just jump down here and take care of them. I take care of the hive first because that will prevent a bunch of virals from spawning. There'll still be some, but not a ton. So since I've got the toughness booster, I'm not really getting hurt. They'll tackle you a few times probably, but Again, if you have saw blades, this will be much easier and faster. So definitely keep that in mind. But it doesn't take too long. You can see all the uh, volatiles are already dead. Oh, except for this guy. Let me get him real quick. Okay. Now they're all dead. And what I like to do is just collect the volatiles and the hive. And then after that, we just kind of move on. So now what you want to do, this is really, really key. Now you want to go ahead and fast travel back to the metro station. Super important you do this. Um, this will actually cause a gold encounter to spawn. So now we need to just do the same thing I did before. Just go this direction. We're going to climb up the uh, quarantine building. I'm going to fast forward through this part because um, literally all we're doing is just climbing to the top of the quarantine building. Let me skip to when I get up there. All right. So once you're at the top, just run around just like normal. You won't have anything spawn yet you want to head this direction um, the reason being is because as soon as you get over here and down to where that little zip line is you'll have the gold encounter spawn just like that without fail it happens every single time it is a guaranteed legendary encounter too so if you want to use this for that definitely can so i like to use my paraglider to get down here you can do it however you want um, the gold encounters vary um, so you can see all sorts of different enemies I see the uh, goon more often than anything else, to be honest. But like I said, you'll see all sorts of different things here. But let me go ahead and take care of this goon real fast. And it is important that you do complete these challenges. Every encounter you come across, otherwise it will not work. Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> so he's almost dead here. And uh, then we'll move on to the next part. So let me go ahead and collect these banshees. And then we'll grab Tyrant, or not the Tyrant, the Goon. There we go. Now, all we want to do is again, fast travel back to the Metro Station. And then 
do the same exact path. Exactly the same as we just did. So I'm going to cut to being at the top of the quarantine building again and show you what to do next. All right, so we're back at the quarantine top of the building again. And again, just do the exact same thing we just did. Run around the top and then we're going to go back to that zip line. Now, this is actually going to force a blue encounter to spawn. As soon as we get over here, we'll see it. And there it is. So sometimes it'll be over here. Sometimes it'll be right there. Gold encounter was. That's perfectly fine. Either way, you need to go complete it. Otherwise, this is going to be really difficult. So let's go kill this dude. Hopefully we can do it without too much trouble. And there we go. Now, again, all you need to do, fast travel back. Every time you must fast travel back to the station. Otherwise, this will not work. So now uh, I'm not going to cut this one out because this is where the uh, hive has a chance to spawn again or it'll spawn another blue encounter. It's one of the two. Um, if it spawns another blue encounter, the hive encounter happens like almost immediately afterwards. So we won't cut this part out just so you can see everything. And we'll climb up to the top. And uh, we should get the encounter here in just a second. Sometimes it takes you until you get to the top of the uh, building before it actually spawns in, but that's perfectly fine. We'll go up here. We're almost there. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes it does take a little bit uh, this way. <laughs> Got lost a little bit. All right. So now we're up here. Bam, your um, survivor sense. But nothing popped up yet, but that's perfectly fine. What we want to do is still head back this way. And head back over here again just like before we'll get another encounter to spawn there's this blue one and then what we need to do actually is there you go there's the hive encounter so like i said if you get the blue one it literally just like a second or two later after the second blue one you will get the volatile hive encounter again so now you can just go back through it and uh you know climb up the building properly <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's it's guaranteed. I've done this so many times and it happens every single time. Occasionally, I'll get a tyrant to spawn, um, but it doesn't happen super often. So this is mainly just for hives because, it, like I said, this happens every single time. It is fantastic. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Dying Light content, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.